Hello everyone, I am Zixin Wang and I will give a brief introduction about our paper titled Revisiting VE for Unsupervised Time Series Anomaly Detection, a Frequency Perspective. Firstly, I will give some background. Time series anomaly detection plays a crucial role in ensuring the security of web systems. In the given picture, two examples of pattern changes are illustrated. Currently, existing methods for time series anomaly detection can be categorized into two main groups. Prediction-based methods often suffer from the issue of overfitting to anomalous patterns, especially in unsupervised settings. On the other hand, reconstruction-based methods tackle anomalous patterns by handling dimension changes, making them more favorable in practice. However, there are many challenges. We gave a comparison of some reconstruction methods, including ours in the left picture. The green shaded error represents reconstruction error. Firstly, current methods encounter difficulties in capturing similar yet heterogeneous periodic patterns. In the provided example, each peak and valley exhibits similarity but also has distinct characteristics. However, these methods tend to reconstruct all peaks and valleys into similar patterns. Secondly, they can't capture detailed chains. We enlarge the red box area and convert it into the frequency domain. It can be observed that the previous methods exhibit poor reconstruction performance in terms of capturing details, often leading to overestimation and underestimation. In the frequency domain, it is more evident that the previous methods lost many frequency components after reconstruction. Therefore, we propose a new method named FCVE, which incorporates frequency domain information as a condition into CVE. Specifically, we propose two frequency information extraction models, GFM and LFM. GFM directly performs FFT on the entire window to extract global frequency information. An LFM splits the uh, entire window into many sub-windows and performs FFT, then extracts useful frequency information from each sub-window through target attention. The evaluation results prove the effectiveness of our message. If you want more details, please refer to our paper. Thanks for watching.